Hey, Carl Stefano here. Uh, I have spoken in other videos about uh, songs. Uh, you'll see by my <clears throat> uh, my list of recordings that uh, I'm quite fond of the American Songbook. I've listened to so much great music, been exposed to so much great music over the over the 60 years I've been playing. <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, sometimes you kind of forget the tunes you played a long time ago, and it's always fun rediscovering them. And that, that happened recently to me <clears throat> at a, one of my medical appointments. A young nurse comes in and introdu introduces herself as Charmaine. And I went, yo, Charmaine. <laughs> I've never met anyone by that name. But there's a song by that name that I hadn't played for at least 40 years and I remember where I was introduced to the song it was at Mr. C's Italian restaurant in Omaha Nebraska where I was <clears throat> playing as a guitar player um, Mr. C Yano Caniglia the owner uh, he was a very uh, strong promoter of live music he would have dance bands in the lounge on the weekend and during the week a couple nights a week he would have strolling musicians usually a duo a guitar mandolin guitar violin accordion violin uh, <clears throat> and so on and i played there off and on for i don't know 10 or 15 years first with uh, the mandolinist mandolin player uh, sam mangimelli a good good very good player and uh, played mostly Italian music and then later with Everett Yates and Everett was one of the great musicians in Omaha is one of the great musicians of Omaha Nebraska he was such a great string player he played guitar mandolin banjo steel guitar electric bass piano organ vibraphone, harmonica, and maybe some other instruments I don't know about. But he played he played all these instruments very well, played totally by ear, never had a music lesson, never knew anything about music theory. He was just a player, great jazz player, too. He led his own bands in Omaha for years, all different kinds of bands. Uh, <clears throat> so he liked to challenge himself and me by taking requests. So, and Mr. C's restaurant had uh, quite a few elderly patrons, and more than once, the old folks would ask for this Charmaine, this old waltz, and that's where I first learned it. And I've always liked it, but I didn't really have an occasion to play it after I quit playing there. Um, so, I want to thank Charmaine, my nurse, for reconnecting me with this old waltz. Uh, it was written in the, or it was published in the 20s, and there's some, some evidence that it may have been written as early as 1917, so it's old. <clears throat> but it's a nice waltz and it has a nice sentiment. So, Charmaine. <laughs> Keep on praying Will our dream 
can be the same I wonder if you ever think of me too I'm waiting my Charmaine for you